what's going on guys you already know who it is it is your boy the dry Newt here and today we are going to be talking about how to improve your aim on modern warfare if you're using a mouse and keyboard maybe you are new i told you guys how to work on snap aim and how to get that really snap aim i really want to show you how to improve your tracking and how to work on your tracking so right now we're going to start out with the sensitivity i play it at an eight in game sense on an 800 dpi my vertical multiplier my grounds vehicles all this is one one two one pretty much default my aim down sights is relative i also have an ads multiplier of one one gradual i play on gradual now instant and gradual i don't see too much of a dis difference so play on gradual my monitor coefficient if you want to have a one-to-one -one with your hip fire and your um ads sense aim down sight sense have that to 1.78 so what you're going to want to do is a lot of people they want to move the ads sense multiplier i highly recommend you do not do that because you on mouse and keyboard you want to have the same hip fire as your ads speed so when you are doing this your muscle memory will help improve trust me some people can lower this down but most times more than not you want to have the same ads as hip fire then my graphic settings this is what i'm using right now so if you guys want to pause the video go ahead and uh, look at that so this is the class setup that i'm going to be using i'm going to be running the ram and i am really used to this uh class you want to find a gun that you are comfortable with and use so we're loading up shoot house and what i want you guys to focus on is having a nice consistent aim and what is going to help you is turn your audio settings off okay turn it off so you don't get those audio cues and you're just going off your vision all right and this is going to help you out a lot so you just load up bots and you are just trying to have a nice smooth consistent aim you're not going to try to flick on the people you're going to try to have nice consistent movements just work on your tracking see how i'm just tracking them don't matter if you're dying or not load as many bots into shoot house and you're just going to try to have nice consistent aim try to follow the bots around and how to do this is just doing this over and over repetition is really going to help you out so just killed that guy also what i want to say is help or what's going to really help you is know the recoil of your gun see how i'm able to control the recoil right there it's nice and tight pattern this is the recoil pattern without me you know controlling it it goes up and to the left a lot so i'm going to pull down and to the right a lot with my mouse and to control that recoil this is me controlling it it goes up and then i pull down and to the right look at that look at that nice tight hip fires or that nice tight spread practice this because it's going to really help you so i know this um ram if it goes up to the left and i'm trying to track someone going to my left i want to control the recoil ever so slightly and let my gun follow them so pretty much i just want to pull down let me die here oh that didn't kill me hopefully one of these bots will kill me kill me bot there we go yes no Wow, it's taking forever for the bot to kill me. All right, <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do, control the recoil. See this target here? I'm going to pull down and pull down to the right. Boom. All my bullets hit that target. So now what you're going to want to do is move around and try your target acquisition onto different people. So you're going to purposely move around and kind of mimic your movement when you're playing. And this will help you out greatly. So when you're running around nice and smooth target acquisition, try to spray down as many people as you can. Look, see how I'm following that guy. You want to try and purposely try to improve that. Just go around, just hold down, hold working on your recoil control. I'm moving left and right. I'm going to go up and down a lot. I'm going to do this, try to follow this guy. This guy's right here. I'm going to hip fire him. And just having nice, consistent, smooth movement and just following your target. The best way to get better at aim is to play the game a ton. I promise you, if you play an hour a day, this will help out a lot. So just practicing on following different targets, 
when they're further away. And another misconception is when you are uh, controlling recoil, the further they're away, the more you have to pull down. That is not true, okay? Recoil pattern is pretty much the same out of all of them. So if they're further away, I'm just gonna pull down the same amount and to the right as I would if they were up close. <clears throat> That's a visual misconception. So there's a little trick for you. So I'm gonna try to get this guy off the head glitch. Nice smooth movements. That's pretty much what you want to do. See how smooth it is? That's pretty much how you want to have it. And it doesn't matter if you die or not. This will help greatly improve your aim. Just smooth movements. I'm purposely not flicking onto them. I'm purposely just smoothly transitioning in between. And this will help you when it comes to flicking. Once you get that smooth movement, you can start flicking and practice flicking onto targets. It makes it really easy to know how far you have to move your mouse when you are trying to do um, consistent movements. And it just helps out a lot. And it, it's really helpful. I wish people were teaching me and telling you how to do this. And this is pretty much how I focus on my aim. See, I didn't flick to that guy. I smoothly transitioned. And you guys are gonna wanna do this. Prepare for Black Ops Cold War and just try to get your aim as best as possible. If it takes you 10 minutes, just do this 10 minutes a day. And I promise you, you will get better aim on PC. It is really helpful and really useful. Now I wanna say that sensitivity is relative to the player. Play on a sensitivity that you are comfortable with. I'm gonna be coming out with a video that shows you how to convert your sensitivities in between games. We also got a subscriber that popped up on the screen. <laughs> Welcome, Waffle Caramel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, this is how you're going to want to practice. Turn your uh, audio cue off and just go off of sight. See, following that guy. And once you start getting this down, you could practice flicking on people. See, I didn't purposely flick on that guy. This is what you want to do. Just practice it. So you have that nice, consistent, smooth aim, and you know exactly how far you have to take your mouse in order to do certain, uh, di travel certain distances. So boom, nice and smooth. I'm gonna look around. I'm not going too fast. Also, another thing is don't pick up your mouse. Don't do a bunch of this. Nice, smooth movements, and then once you get comfortable, you can start flicking to people. And at end game is starting to just being able to flick to different people and knowing how and how far you need to go. Doing 180 flicks. <clears throat> and how to know how to do 180 flicks, like I'm flicking onto these people, just like that. And that is end game. The end game is you wanna have your sensitivity to where it looks like aimbot. And this is what in, I'm going to show you what end game looks like, how you want your aim to be Just boom, boom, clicking towards them, consistent swipes, just like that. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Always remember to stay blessed and stay humble, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.